sound as it one. As you can guess, thanks to the title, today I want to explain to you what a fan fiction is. Since it's something that is part of my life and something that I think everybody should know about and I'm going to do it of course in a ASMR way. So first thing first, a uh, fan fiction is a story uh, written by a fan you can call it FF fan fiction or fan fic and as written by a fan and it's based on um, a TV show, book, a reality show, movie, video game an anime, a manga, a music band, and uh, whatsoever. But there are many types of fanfiction and they can be set in a different universe than the original one and the writer may change the original story completely and you could introduce new characters original ones or maybe characters from another show or from the real life or maybe you can find even the author himself in it you know the fan who has written the story and for example we could write a titanic fan fiction in which jack doesn't die and becomes a mermaid that would be a really fun or interesting fanfiction. Now I want to explain to you um, the fanfiction code, as I call it. Um, I really like when I try to explain it to my friends because they don't understand it and I think it's so funny. And um, I want to thank uh, to thank Wikipedia because it uh, gave me a list of all these terms or this terminology, so it it made it easier for me to do it. And um, I want to tell you that all the kind of fanfiction that I'm going to tell you about don't exclude each other and so let's begin okay let's pretend that you really like a tv show and you want to go on a fan fiction website like archive our own or fanfiction.net and you want you know to read a fan fiction about it um, you can find, for example, angst from fiction. The term angst um, is, um, you can find it in from fiction when the characters are sad and everybody starts struggling people don't know that they are in love and so they fight and they hate each other and you want to scream to them because they are obviously in love but they don't want to admit that to each other and I like in fiction couples who have an initial angst relationship um, because you can actually see how much they hide their love behind insults and fights, fights so I really, really like those kinds of fan fiction. Then we could find 
a u for fiction that means alternate universe in um, an alternative universe for fiction the characters are not living in the same world of age uh, where the TV show takes place, but in another one. So imagine reading um, a dozen Creek for fiction in a post apocalyptic um, universe. That would be a dozen Creek AU for fiction. If that universe is, uh, is a place like Hogwarts or the Middle Earth or maybe the Frozen frozen kingdom um, that is a crossover and it's when um, the characters of the TV show find themselves um, in another world for example in the Harry Potter world and they can meet, can meet people from that universe. So, for example, imagine um, Spike from Buffy um, being best friends with Draco Malfoy and living in Hogwarts. That would be a Buffy Harry Potter crossover fanfic. Then we can find the word. Fusion as well. The term fusion is a little bit different from crossover because um, it's when two settings becomes one. So um, it's not the Buffy characters in the Harry Potter world anymore, but it's uh, the two worlds coexisting. When you, um, in lieu of this, find the tag fluff, you can start crying and screaming and blushing uh, because it is a real thing in the fan fiction world and it's basic, basically a story where all the characters are happy and they are in love and there is no drama and everybody is hugging and kissing in a really cheesy way and it's really uh, funny when you read fluff from fiction that involve of uh, fluff from fiction that involves characters that are usually mean to each other and you can see them like in a different light, light so I really like them. And fluff and fiction um, are the most appreciated kind of fiction in every fandom, I think. I'm not, I like them, but I prefer the art, art comfort fic or angst fic if I had to choose but sometimes I enjoy a little bit of fluff. So, as I was saying, one of my favorite kind of fiction are the art, the art comfort one. in which the characters are hurt emotionally or physically and another character has to comfort uh, you know him or her the person who is hurt so um, I think it works well with usually competitive characters because you'll be able to see how much they care about each other 
and you know behind the surface and um, plus in a hard comfort fi fiction things can get very intimate because of the situation you know and the character starts knowing knowing each other better and they have physically contact and you know it, it can get really sweet and sometimes even fluff very easily uh, but in a darker way and in a darker um, um, in a deeper way and I definitely love this kind of fan fiction and they are definitely my favorite fan fiction so when I see I'm scrolling you know a fan fiction, fan fiction website and when I see you know the tag hard comfort uh, I absolutely download that fan fiction because I really I really like this kind of fan fiction so in the fan fiction world you can find this magic word smart um, a smart fan fiction um, in short is um, a really pornographic fan fiction and I usually don't like this kind of fan fiction but you know some smuts are very well written and they can be you know very entertaining prefer the so-called so-called slow burn which are um, you know it's a term that indicates a romance who takes a lot of chap chapter before blossoming so sometimes the couple doesn't uh, doesn't kiss since the um, I don't know, it doesn't kiss for 20 chapters and I really like when I see a couple getting to know each other better and then starting to trust each other very slowly and then when they finally kiss you're very happy and yeah, I, I really love slow burn fiction but everybody has his own taste so Um, other people, not me in particular, love domestic fanfic or domestic AU fanfictions. In a domestic fic, you can see your favorite couple in a established relationship facing the daily problems of living together and sharing a life together maybe maybe having babies you know and usually domestic fix are really fluff but it's it's not always like that um, something which is a really really big deal in the fan fiction world is sorry my stomach I'm really hungry a coffee AU fan fiction this is a really big deal in the fan fiction world it's just your sheep meeting in a coffee and falling in love and fan fiction readers get really crazy for this kind of fan fictions and you can find you can find like a lot of coffee that you fan fiction then you can find song fix which I used to write wasn't really good so I stopped. A 
song pick is when um, an existent song is used to explain our feeling or a relationship or an event and the original verses can be interrupted by words by the writer, something like that. They can be really, really poetic sometimes. So, now just a little clarification some really used terminology in the confection world. The word canon uh, includes, uh, it means that everything is related to the original source, including the plot, the settings and the character de development. So it's not alternate universe, no crossover and it's, uh, it's all you know, every, everything stick to the original story. Then you can find this word, head, canon. Head canon is different. It means something that the fandom decide and accept as real and so it appears in every fanfiction, almost every fanfiction. For example, in the Inception fandoms, fandom, Imps always calls Arthur Darling. And you can find in every fanfiction, um, Imps does that. I've never read an Inception fanfiction in which Imps doesn't call Arthur darling and in the Harry Potter fandom for example Fred is often a ghost in the castle if you are reading some afterward afterward story so it's something that the fandom accepted as real so that is an ad canon I suggest you to write the name of your fandom plus the word head canon on Google and enjoy all the beautiful headcanon that your fandom has invented. When you see the word R, P, F, don't get scared. Uh, it means real, real person, from fiction, and it's when, for example, you don't ship Arian Draco from Harry Potter, but you actually ship um, the actor, so Daniel and Tom. So it's the real story, it's the real world, and it's not about the fiction anymore. And I don't know, I don't, I don't like so much the real person fiction because sometimes they can be really rude. Um, they can be really rude, um, you know, because people forget about. Um, the fact that actors, you know, are real people and I don't know, I don't really, I don't really like RPF fanfiction, but it's okay. Then you can easily find the word O, O, T, P, that means one, true, pairing, and it's, you know, your favorite couple. Um, yeah, I keep saying it, but your um, your favorite couple, you know, um, but it, a couple is called sheep. The word, word, sheep, that came from relationship, and for example, it's it, it usually is composed from the two names of the couple. For example, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. They're Brangelina, that's a sheep. So OTP um, is, you know, your favorite sheep of a fandom, uh, my, or ever. For example, my favorite sheep ever is Brighton from the, uh, the TV show Cruise Folk. 
but you can add a no to be in every fandom so for example my harry potter otp is dreary and my teen wolf otp is direct and you know that's easy so you will find a lot of M, S, the flash M from fiction, or F, M, F, flash F from fiction in the from fiction world. That means a gay couple and a lesbian couple. This is, um, you know, it's just more common that you need a fanfiction to see your favorite couple together if they're gay uh, thanks to the heteronormativity in the most of the thing that we see and read so if if for the fans or of set and summer from all seas easy to get satisfied by the show it's not so easy for who believe that Sherlock and Watson totally deserve to be together so don't worry guys, just open a keep of our own and enjoy your favorite John Locke from fiction. So let's stop here for now. Um, I didn't include all the tags uh, that you can find related to, fan to fanfiction uh, since there is a plethora of them in the fan fiction world you can check you can check out all the different genres and type and kinds of fan fiction on the internet on left journal on archive of our own on fan fiction net and all the others fan fiction website out there um, it would take hours to explain fully all the fan fiction terminology and kind of a fiction than there is. Um, it's amazing though seeing uh, many talented fans uh, that are writing writing beautiful stories which make you cry and laugh and which keep alive all our favorite characters because that's what this is about and it's comforting sometimes reading a new ending maybe when one of one, your favorite character doesn't die and has a happy ending and sometimes you can find new word new words even better than the original one and i can say that uh, fan fiction is a way to explore your favorite fandom in a different perspective and to never stop fantasi fantasizing about your ship if fantasizing is a word <laughs> um, so yeah if you want it you whatever you want you can read it and you will find it in a fan fiction so I think that's something amazing and that's what fans should do so not have fights and arguing about the ships and I don't know just go and read a fan fiction and everything you want will be possible so um, for watching let me know if you read from fiction as well and which uh, which ones are your favorites and if you have an OTP what's your favorite ship you know and thank you and see you next time with a new video